Brunswick Glen Joint Water and Sewer is located on the southeast coast of Georgia. Here it is relatively flat topographically. Uh, we are surrounded by a lot of bodies of water, marshland, as well as ocean and rivers. Systems Pumping and Maintenance Division is the largest division within Brunswick Glen Joint Water and Sewer. We're responsible for the operation of the collection system in total here in Glen County and in the city of Brunswick. So we have approximately 350 miles of gravity sewer, over 200 miles of force main, 8,000 manholes, and over 160 lift stations that we operate both on the mainland, the South Mainland, and the island of St. Simons. In this flat environment here on the coast, we get a lot of severe thunderstorms. So we were seeing tremendous amount of electronics being lost due to lightning strikes or power surges or brown downs. And this was leading to devices that were unreliable because their radios would go. That repeated failure led to continuous repairs. So when you have 160 devices, that's very, very frequent. And in this case, we were looking for a way to increase reliability because an unreliable system leads to data that you question its validity. It leads to overtime because staff members are having to respond to things that could be listed as nuisance alarms. So you have to have robust reliability. And that's part of the reason why we chose the Schweitzer components. We were attracted by their warranty. We were attracted by their base cost and the ability to be easily integrated into what we have presently. So the 2411P is a programmable relay logic device that has the ability to take multiple inputs, whether they represent digital or analog inputs, and then control discrete applications on the downstream side, which is as simple as turning off or turning on a pump. One of the things that we found extremely attractive was the DNP3. DMP allows for backfilling of the data. If you lose communication or resources, the data is consistently and constantly recorded within the DMP map on the 2411P device. Part of the problem that we were having with our existing system is it uses radio telemetry with a polling loop. And we had one particular polling loop that was taking about 20 minutes to make the loop. Most of the time with polling loops, you have multiple passes before it will trip an alarm. So in our case, I believe it's set for three, so you could have somewhere on the order of 20 to 60 minutes of missing data that you don't receive. It takes so long for a poll loop to accomplish that uh, data begins not being reliable. We chose to move away from radio to cellular comms. It marries very nicely with the 2411P. And now what that has led to is instead of a radio device with long polling loops, we're getting our data as quick as parts of a second or a few seconds from the time that the device is polled to we receive the data. So when I'm looking at the device, I'm not seeing this latency of 20 minutes that I don't know what has happened. We have actually uh, began rewriting and sourcing primarily all SEL products for everything that we do moving forward. Not only 2411Ps, but moving into the Axion, the motor management relay 849s, the RTAC systems standalone for data concentration. The 2411P, I feel like, has brought us into the 21st century with reliable data. It's moved our technology leaps and bounds forward compared to our old resources. And from a warranty standpoint, it was far exceeding what we were offered when we looked at the big names, and we did look at the big names in PLC hardware as to what their warranties were. But I think I could accurately say that SEL has taken it another step further in that they've really been here for us to make sure that this is a success as we try to implement the integration of their components.